Oh, good to see you there. <laughs> What's the point of knocking if you're just going to come up? Thank you so much. Okay. Uh guys are from Kingswood Academy and they took part in the workshops at the beginning of the film process and they helped to come up with the ideas for that would shape the film. We're gonna make FF history. Jerome is Jerome is young, he's 18 and um it's just one like in the, in, the, in the group of friends there's always that chilled one that's always just chilled they don't really mind they're real laid back and I feel like that's the type of guy Jerome is so his friend Eddie is more like the one to push him to go out and explore more and do certain things that he wouldn't usually do. All right texter. Yo Ali. Yo Ali. All right wait for it come on. <clears throat> Yo Ali I think you're buffer than Maya Jama. He's 18 is exploring loads of different things like you do when you first turn 18 and you're legal you know he's exploring like his love interest more and he's slowly coming out of his shell because he's such a shy guy it just shows him coming out of his shell a lot more and just growing up in a sense i really like your earrings really nice my character is called eddie and uh he is effectively one of the main roles, he is one of three friends who the stories are based around. And you take on his, uh, his journey um, through happy times, through sad times, through uh, light loss, through difficult situations. And uh, yeah, you really get to see a lot of colors with this character. He doesn't really hold anything back. You get to see all of him. What the fuck? Add in. He's quite a boisterous guy, he's quite a fun guy, he's very um, energetic, he's confident, very, very sure in his, uh, his, in his actions and he uses that to guide his friend who is Jerome. That's what am I supposed to say? Wow. Oh, yeah, what? Okay, watch and learn bro. You could just wake up and, and, just do, and just have this. You could be like Harry and put a bowl on your head and shave around it and um, it works. Single mum, and she's got uh, three boys. Um, strong, working mum, fun, loves her kids. I think the the actual finished article was really powerful, and I feel like I had quite a strong reaction to um, some of the effects. So yeah, I think it's gonna be really good when it's finished. Hard hitting. For me, the, the, the script was very 2D. And seeing it come to life, and seeing other people's creative mind behind it brings it really to life. When I read it originally, when I like how I read it and reacted, I assumed that's exactly how everyone else that sees it would react the same way. And obviously I met Ted, the director, I met Nick and everyone in the audition room for like the second time and I really got a good vibe. So once I got a good vibe from them and I knew that this is something they've worked hard on and it's been, you know, they've been working for a while and the script's great. I just, something that I said I want to get involved in. A festival. A festival is like a sweet, it's like a sweet dumpling. It's like a. Who don't know what dumpling is? Harry, you don't know what dumpling is? No, no, wait. You gotta explain to him what dumpling is. Harry, we had this conversation yesterday. Oh man, this is sad. Harry, no. This is upset. Can I say we actually were in love? What do you mean we were? Suppose I was still in love. Nah. What kind of shit is this? My name is Theo Johnson. I'm there to keep the peace and like stop violence happening. It's always good to be involved when there's a positive message being pushed out there. And obviously through creativity is where all my positive messages get pushed out educationally anyway. So like I'm kind of, yeah, I'm glad to be involved because I'm like, this is what I'm about. Uh, my character is a um, nice guy really. Doesn't always seem like it, but I play the, the older brother of Jerome. Uh, yeah played by Shaq 
And yeah, I'm just, I suppose, looking out for it. Man, I swear I'll knock him out, bro. I swear I'll spin his knock jaw. Knock No one. We are about to shoot the biggest set piece of the whole film. Uh, we have Bob and Matt Schofield who worked on like the original Superman and that, but we're not going to get Jerome to fly quite as good as Christopher Reeves did. Flying all over the place. Like all, over, all over, all over. My flaws. It's all safe, man. Here we go. Some of the most important messages, it sounds weird, but it's literally just the everyday dangers that we don't think of. Because we're so immune to it and desensitized, we don't even think about it. So it's literally just staying safe and being aware of your surroundings. Eddie, look what Eddie got you for your best. In movies and commercials and stuff, but we don't, in real life, we don't really think, oh, I'm not gonna walk near a track. If I gotta go around to go there, where I could just go there, I'd literally just go there and I wouldn't think about the dangers. Because I think, nah, you've got to touch. Like, not a lot of people are clued up to these type of things. Like, I've learned a lot on the shoot. So I think to take from this film is just, friendship is a very real thing. And when you lose that, when you lose friendship for reasons that aren't under your control, it can be a very hard thing to deal with, you know? So from this film, you should really take that friendship is special, man. So all of the team have just been amazing. We've stepped up in every department okay. and I think this will be the best film that we've ever made. Oh. All will be clear, don't worry. You know, got our Highland Water on set, that no BPA thing. Wakanda forever. They're shooting a scene in the kitchen that you'll see with the bacon and that. Make sure you look at the bacon. Hidden message. With a bandage on my head. We have Amy with a bandage. What happened there? No questions asked. We're about to shoot an episode of Man Them in the Bush. Hello, look at me. No. No. This is this is a calm shoot. But it's not a calm shoot, you get me? It's not. Hello mate. What are you saying, mate? You're alright? Yeah, yeah, sweet. We've got beautiful space, beautiful people, beautiful kit, beautiful script. One more do you want? Amazing, sensational, lovely team, lovely crew, amazing cast. Like described to me before, it is very much like a family environment. Man. It's been brilliant working with Fully Focused. Everyone's mucking in, it's a really nice feeling on set. I like that Fully Focused isn't just about making films. It's, it's a community, it's like real life. It's what happens with these characters in the writing is real. But what happens is so unnatural. There's knife crime, there's your homelessness like this. There's danger of trains. That's a very serious thing, so I like the way in which you approach films. It's very wise, and I hope one day that you guys are just as big as Disney or Marvel. Really beautiful atmosphere, and everybody wants to make it work. You get some productions where you literally come to work and then you leave, and then you come and see the same people and then you leave, whereas Holy Focus is more like a family, it's more like everyone's engaged with each other, like everyone's relaxed, everyone's chilled, and everything get, gets done. Like so far on set, nothing's been rushed, everything has been provided everything's been nurtured like Ted's been great AD's runners everyone's been great behind the scenes on the scenes making sure that they get the most out of us by the same time we're relaxed and mature so I like it it's more like a family fully focused family everyone's I mean on the same page this is Teddy Knight one of the greatest to ever do it greatest behind the camera if you want something to be directed vision passion love knowledge but with the youth my guy right there. Exactly.